Many PDIC students applying from overseas use the help of an official PDIC representative. PDIC has official representatives all over the world. There are probably PDIC representatives in your country too. The role of a PDIC representative is to provide advice on which course to study and to guide you through the application process. Depending on which country you live in, a PDIC representative may also provide you with help applying for your visa to study in the UK. So how do you find out where your nearest PDIC representative is located? Easy! On most pages on this website, you'll see a Find a Representative button. Click on the Find a Representative button. Then find your country on the map. You'll see the contact details of a representative near you. Call or email your nearest PDIC representative and make an appointment to speak to them. The representative will help you fill out your application form and will send it to PDIC for processing. You'll need to attach academic transcripts and other documents, such as your English test results. The PDIC representative will give you all the information you need. Provided your application is successful, you can expect to receive a letter of offer from us within a few days. This will normally come back to you through the representative who helped you submit your application. The letter of offer contains details of the course you've been accepted for, your start dates and also the fees that you will need to pay to PDIC. These fees will need to be paid in British sterling. Your representative will explain the different payment methods. Once you have formally accepted the offer and paid the required fees, you'll receive a Confirmation of Acceptance of Studies, or CAS. You need this document to apply for your student visa for the UK. The PDIC representative helping you with your application will explain the process for applying for a student visa. Once you've received your student visa from the British High Commission, you'll be all set to start your undergrad studies in the UK. One last thing, before you start your studies, there are two important documents that you'll need to read. The first is called Five Things to Do Before You Arrive to PDIC. It provides a link to details about booking accommodation, booking flights, airport reception, etc. You'll receive a copy of this with your CAS statement. The other really important document that you'll need to read is called Orientation and Enrollment. As a new student, you'll be required to attend the orientation program, which happens in the first few days before you start your studies. During the orientation program, you'll get information about your timetable, get your student card, you'll have a tour of the University of Plymouth campus and facilities, and you'll also get to meet some of the students and staff who you'll be studying with. Orientation is compulsory for all students. Studying on campus at the University of Plymouth is a fabulous experience. Once you've completed the application process with PDIC and have got your student visa, it won't be long before you start your studies in Plymouth. If you've got any questions at all about your application, you can ask them through the Ask a Question page on this website or through a PDIC representative. PDIC staff and representatives are there to make applying to PDIC easy for you.